Good morning, old history family, historians from around the internet there. We're here in downtown Morristown in the old, uh, I can't even remember the name of it. You're in for a surprise. This building was built in 1919. And uh, Mr. Jim McGee here was doing some renovations here and stumbled upon a pretty big secret. Jim, why don't you tell us what you found and what's, what's happening today? Well, we were replacing the carpet, so we had to pull up the old carpet and get over there. And, uh, the guy had been pulling on the carpet, popped up. He thought he had found a big safe in the floor. And he got to prying around, got the lid off of it, and there was an opening going down into the old tunnel under downtown Morristown, which was originally the Turkey Creek bed, or the original creek. But it got uh, rerouted in 1967, and uh, it sort of dried up on this end. But its original function we believe for the hole being cut was most businesses in the downtown area got their water from Turkey Creek. And there was a barber shop two doors down from me where uh, the lawyer office is now. Walker's Barber Shop. They had actually had a sink. Uh, I have pictures that shows the sink in the middle of the floor with two lines going down into Turkey Creek under the floor. And that was the only source of water they had. But if that water line ever got stopped up, they had to have access to get down there to unstop it, fix it, repair whatever had went wrong. And uh, we believe that this is probably one of the only accesses to the tunnel now without swimming up Turkey Creek and crawling out into the old uh, tunnel. But, uh, in my pictures, you can still see the lines coming down from where the barber shop was, the hoses that sucked the water out of the creek. And it's pretty fascinating, but there's been a lot of other theories about what it was used for after Turkey Creek was rerouted. A lot of the old timers claim they've rode bicycles up and down inside the tunnel there when they was kids. And uh, of course, they weren't supposed to be in there. One guy even told me they used to take rifles and go down in there and shoot rats. And let there be light. <laughs> but it, there's a lot of stories, a lot of different things. We're going to do some more research on it. We just found it a couple of days ago. And we're uh, anxious to talk to people and figure out you know, what, what may have really happened down there after it was used for water source. All right, historians, here we are, about to go down in the rabbit hole. So there's a ladder going up to the floor I just showed you a second ago. Some of the old water mains. Very, very, very enormous pipe. On the camera right now it looks... Uh, like it's light, but doing the best that I can here. So just, just a note, you are under a, right now we are under a five-story building. It's way up there. More old pipes. It's a really neat old bottle. The bricks. So this was the original route of Turkey Creek before the city of Morristown uh, rerouted it to go another way. So right here is where it ends. Um, oh, that's neat. Right here is where it ends. Uh, actually, over there is where it ends. But 
a long time ago, there was a, a theater over here called the Princess Theater, and, and uh, a bunch of old timers have related to me that when they tore it down, <coughs> the bulldoze when they was tearing it down, the bulldozer actually fell into the hole, and so they uh, rocked it up right there, and then uh, on down right there, and right over there is a. Uh, Main Street, you can still hear the, you can hear the cars going over us right now. Boy, ain't that creepy. We'll walk on down here. Now we're getting to where we can stand up a little higher here. More rock, perhaps from another wall. So now here we're under a different building, not under the old uh, Old Town Variety Mall. You can see newer concrete as opposed to older brick and uh, wooden beams. See there, somebody, somebody's been down here before apparently. On down there's a waterfall. Again, I don't know how well anybody can see this, but it's still really neat. It's a really awesome experience. You get to see, you get to see how things were in the night in the 1900s, in the early 1900s. A very big old stump there. Perhaps part of a an older foundation, maybe. And it's still crazy to think that right there is a road. Actually, well, never mind. It's thought that uh, there might have been some moonshine stills down here. Uh, I know in the in downtown Rogersville, there is uh, actually still a speakeasy over there. So perhaps maybe on down that way or on down that way where there was a bar, maybe they had a, a, a hideaway door, much like what was in this one. So right here, a little earlier, Mr. Jim explained to us that there were Pipes going up to the barber shop next door. Oh, right there they are. And if I can find them online, I'll be sure to link them in the post or in the video, excuse me. Big old steel beam. Floor. So I've been told that channel, I think it's channel eight news is on the way up here. So I figured I'd go ahead and shoot the video and get it out of the way. So the cool part about where we just were, which is basically right up under them line of trucks there, uh, is that the original Turkey Creek came from right there uh, where that car's turning out, just by the Java Garden. That's where the Princess Theater was. And before that, I think it was the Wonderland. But not entirely positive. Uh, anyway, it came kind of catty corner to us. And it ran straight down the middle of downtown where it cut over on uh, South Cumberland. North Cumberland, excuse me. 
and then, before, then after 1967, uh, I'll be sure to plug in the pictures here, but for 1967, they uh, rerouted it to somewhere over, over yonder. Uh, I don't know the exact route that they made it go. So this was supposedly one of Morristown's first hotels. Uh, Jim took me up there, but uh, honestly, just didn't think to film it. Still really cool to see uh, all the stuff up there. There's This whole building was part of it. Uh, it didn't separate right there. He still got a lot of the, a lot of the original stuff from up there and he does the thing called the uh, ghost, the ghost walk. Uh, so be sure you come down here to the Old Town Variety Mall and give Mr. Jim McGee some business here and let him know that old history sent you. So, With all that being said, hope everybody has a great day. Thanks for watching. And this picture shows us the McCantless store, which is the original name of the building. It was a novelty store on the first floor and hotel on the top two floors. Nothing really changed in the hundred years this building's been around. The next picture shows us the Sanborn Fire Insurance map from, I think, 1914. And right in the middle, uh, it shows us the original route of Turkey Creek. Now for a while, uh, the Granger County line was actually dictated along Tricky Creek before Hamlin County was created. This is the barbershop picture that Jim was telling us about at the beginning of the video with the sink that comes up through the floor. And if we would have kept going straight down Main Street, we eventually would have ended up here. Now, you can still see this creek today. This is a more recent picture by Joe Moore. This is the current Turkey Creek uh, headed down towards Cherokee Lake eventually. And so this is one of the reasons that Turkey Creek was rerouted. This is a flood in 1961, I believe. Uh, every time that the town got heavy rain, downtown would flood. And I believe this, this shows about two or three feet of water. And this picture belongs to somebody else, so credit to them. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, before I cut you loose, just remember, uh, I do have a podcast. It's on Anchor dot fm forward slash old history and if you like this enough uh visit me on patreon where you can support the project it's not required not asking just for people that like to donate they think that old history is fit for a donation so with all that being said let's uh have a great rest of the year